What's good, Rogue Gang? Today we're talking about something not different, but just something I thought I would never talk about. And we know the Logan Paul, the Paul brothers, been in some serious drama for like the past few years. Don't really, I'm not really in tune with what they've been doing, or I just don't have a good memory of it, honestly. But they've been in some stuff. But today we're talking about something that happened in the past. Like, we're talking about like four to five years ago. Shout out Pika for uh, sending this to the court. Said us talk about it. Looked into it a little bit. They still have the video of the incident. And at the end of it, at the, at the end of the day, this is my opinion. So what I see, what I think I saw, is what I think I saw. So Logan Paul has a dog. Don't know his name, but you know, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep it a bean. And um, they're on a boat. I think they were in, uh, around a lake, river, whatever. A dog. Is on the edge of the boat under the fence like looking out to the water and um two hands go on there one hand is on like the top like almost almost like his rear end almost right there on the top and people couldn't tell if he i don't know if it was logan i think it was logan yeah people couldn't tell if logan's hand was there to push the dog or to pet the dog i'm um, gonna be honest i don't know much about logan paul but I do hear a lot of pet controversy. I think he has multiple pets that's passed away, multiple pets that he's abandoned. So some went out in the worst way, man. Just not really good situations when it comes to pets. We're not gonna go too deep into it, but there was a video I did see and um, gave me some pretty good insight. Shout out Jimmy Robbins. Um, I watched the video majority, not all the way through, but majority of the way. And uh, yeah, man, um, just watch that. He'll give you a good insight on, on his pets and all of his experiences. But it makes sense why it's so concerning and why it's, you know, still like a relevant topic. Because I didn't even know he had a history like this. I didn't think he had this many pets. But yeah, looking through that video, I was like, okay, well, I see where the concern is coming from. Y'all know me, I'm in my so I don't really know what he's got going on. But this is not me trying to be biased. I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible. We're going to look through this tape. I say tape like it's like it's film or something. We're gonna look through this 30 second clip and we're gonna slow mo it and review it. All right, we're gonna first play it off in normal speed. It's not a full 30 seconds, but the part we're looking for is only like a four to five second span. It's not really that long. We're running back a few times just to look at the minor details to see what the intentions was like. Hold on, please. Hold on. Broly! I'm going in. I'm going in. Come here, buddy. Bro, what the fuck? I haven't been scared Why? like this in a while. Alright, so this is taking place a day after I just recorded that part of my video. Cause I had some stuff going on, but we're back. Let's uh let's reanalyze this thing, bro. So we see Broly on the edge, and before he jumps off, you see two hands. I didn't really notice the second hand until he was getting off. Someone was just rubbing on him before he got off. Wait for it. Right there. That is Logan's hands, I'm assuming, because he's the closest one to him. His hands is on like his back, lower, almost rear area, but not at the rear. Honestly, you don't really need good quality to tell what's going on here, but as you can see, he's. it looks like he's petting him. Doesn't, I don't think he was like, pushing him because I don't know that's kind of some dumb that's some lame shit that's some dumb shit he wouldn't just push his dog in the water and if he wants to do it intentionally I feel like he would do it in a more sneakier way and without putting himself in the camera doing that as he was jumping his hand was stationary and the fur was kind of going down while he was going past him if you get what I mean let me show you again Logan's hand gets down there and it's like he's petting him, caressing him. For what I'm seeing in this whole clip, it looked like he got encouraged to jump. I wouldn't say he got forced to jump or they forced him to jump. They most likely encouraged it. That might have not been their intention. I don't have a dog personally, but that's what I've seen and you know witnessed firsthand. So dogs, when they're encouraged enough, they're gonna do it for sure. So yeah, his hands right there. And as he's jumping, you know, it, I don't see no force of his hand pushing it forward or trying to slowly try, you know what I mean? No type of pressure for him going there. He's just holding him down, I guess, 
and like just you know rubbing on his fur or just slowly caressing him that's what i'm saying it's it could be either one of those things like i said it's my opinion if it's what i seen is what i seen that's how i see it and right after he jumps you see logan reach for his hand to reach for him to reach for broly yeah i mean honestly for what i'm seeing i don't think it's intentional bro but i see why this is a concern apparently logan paul tries to make himself look like a hero i guess people when people have seen that footage of him saving broly that he was doing that for the views and the clicks just so he could be painted as oh he loves his dogs oh he loves his pets which is you know i don't really know because i don't really watch him personally so i don't really know how he does his things from his history i'm not really that surprised that people even thought like that but it kind of sucks to be put in that spot where people are going to think that you're going to do that to your dog or to your pet which is crazy but you know there are people like that out there bro so i'm not really that mad at people's speculation on this maybe just because it's caught on camera but like i don't know like just seeing her face right here bro after she's seen it covered her mouth it just didn't feel genuine but like i'm not i'm i, I just i don't know maybe because i barely even record things through a lens so it's like i gotta start doing that more angle lotto because i'm very reserved but just seeing it i don't know just the reactions kind of just didn't feel like it was actually real but at the same time it might have just been like the way the camera was positioned so not gonna jump into that conclusion but i'm glad nothing happened to him because honestly he could have got sliced like there are propellers under a boat either he didn't really get under it or he went down under enough just to pass by the boat or he just somehow missed the propeller thank god either way because obviously we don't want to see no dog killed on here at all bro i know logan paul's already had his issue with recording the dead body and laughing at it or something like that but yeah that's how i see it um let me know what y'all think bro i don't really know i don't really know bro i don't know but for what i'm thinking i don't think he was intending to do it that's kind of crazy i do feel like it was encouraged though for sure um i don't know just having the dog that close to the to the you know what i'm saying to the river on the edge of a boat like that is going to be enticed to do something you know what i'm saying that's it's going to be enticed to do some impulsive behavior so yeah that's what i'm seeing from it bro Y'all have a good one. Y'all take care. And uh, yeah, bro, let me know your thoughts.